CBS3 Duluth Weathermax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. You know what they say about the red sky in the morning, that sailor needs to take warning. And this is the picture this morning from the Duluth area, courtesy of KDAL Radio's Kenny Callagher. Yeah, and wouldn't you know it, indeed, there's a rain chance paying off for some towns as we speak, and for others, it's coming in a couple of hours, but may only last a few hours. This isn't going to be a big major soaker, but still peppered in between could be a couple of thunderstorms towards the severe side, so we do have to watch out. Well, if we eye up what's going on right now at the airport, we'll see that it's 70 degrees, and so it's still warmer than normal. Tomorrow, that problem will be solved by a cold front, and we go back to normal, so the 70s will go away perhaps the last time this season. Well, you know, one can always hope it comes back again. Wind currently is calm. The relative humidity is 57% and our air pressure is pretty low at 29.59. We have a pair of lows on our doorstep here connected by a cold front. And so those are the triggers for the rain chance we get tonight through tomorrow morning. Current temperatures. Well, now that the cold front has worked through a portion of the region, we've dropped into the 60s for parts of northwestern Minnesota here, or for example at 63, closer to the lake. Front hasn't quite struck here yet, still 70 in Superior and in Proctor, 71 in Hayward and Ashland, and 72 to 73 in the Upper Peninsula. With a cold front working through, yeah, those of you still holding on to the 70s, you will have to relinquish them in a couple of hours. And of course, the result of letting go of those temperatures via a cold front will be showers and thunderstorms. We're seeing mostly just showers in our area right now from that frontal passage. The biggest threat for any severe weather seems to be right now down around Rice Lake, Wisconsin and points farther south. But you never know, it could creep into our region, so we'll keep our eye to the sky and our eyes on the radar scope as well here at CBS3 until at least tomorrow morning when the chance goes away as the two low pressure systems pass through the region. And once they do pass by tomorrow afternoon, higher pressure at least briefly should take over and bring uh, clearer conditions, maybe some sunshine Wednesday afternoon and Thursday morning. As early as Thursday afternoon though, our next low pressure system brings a rain chance back into our region and luckily just a rain chance because other low pressure systems towards Montana this weekend will be kicking up a winter storm warning for folks there. So they're going to be getting snow in the mountains this weekend, but we're holding off for just rain in our neck of the woods for the time being. Forecast tonight in Minnesota, low temps from 43 to about 52, 40% chance for these showers and storms. 40% chance as well in Wisconsin and Michigan with lows there, 50 to 55. Tomorrow in Wisconsin and Michigan, morning showers possible, but then afternoon clearing and highs cooler, 58 to 64. Minnesota high temps, warmer by the lake this time around, 60 to 64 there and inland, 57 to 62. And after the morning showers, folks on that side of the border should get a clearer sky as well. So here's the extended forecast and it's a bit of the weather roller coaster. We go from a bit of sunshine Wednesday afternoon to a bit of cloud activity by Thursday afternoon and then by Friday afternoon back towards sunshine, which may last through Saturday. So the first part of the weekend ahead will be on the sunnier side, but only 57. Then Sunday, even cooler with the 50-50 shot at showers coming back again, which in turn may last three days all the way through next Tuesday. So it looks like, like I mentioned, the 70s are gone after today into the 60s for a few days, and then we drop into the 50s for a few mm. more. Ooh. 50s, that yeah. sounds cold. Autumn. Today was cold and up. I don't need 50s. <laughs> Autumn is two days old, and the, uh, that yeah. style temperatures are here to stay. All right. Thanks, Dave.